Hey everyone, uh, Michael Cisco here. I started school not too long ago, and now I want to try something else along with my path to further my education. I am going to start video blogging. <clears throat> this is to, one, not only look back on in a later date, but also to see how I grow and hopefully do better at public speaking because I'm nervous for some reason. But I started taking game design at Full Sail University. And I've only been there for a little over a month now and it's, it's been fun and interesting. Um, my first four months are known as my core four, uh, classes, <clears throat> and then after that, then I finally start the classes to really learn about my major of game design. Um, it's a 29th month program. It's <clears throat> going to be a long, fun, interesting journey for going to school full time and going to work full time while also having a family life and then also trying to find some time in there for enjoyment um, I'm going to start doing these uh, video blogs once a week to reflect back on <clears throat> my uh, courses and see what and talk about what I've learned that week and just talk about how I'm <clears throat> overall doing so far in school and everything <clears throat> so I uh, appreciate everyone who's uh, gonna watch this and um, give me feedback um, for it because it would help me progress and do better on these Come the future hopefully um, all right so let's start with the first course I took which was creating presentation um, it when I first saw it it kind of scared me because I he, it involved pre presenting to my fellow peers and stuff and even though it's over online it still has the same feeling and fears of public speaking because it's putting myself out there it's people seeing me for who I am and what I can present <clears throat> and it scared me at first but then as I progressed through the class I got more confidence because I was doing a lot better than what I thought I was going to it I ended up ended with a class with uh, a 97 and I was so proud of myself when I realized that. But what it taught me is it helped me learn uh, how to use my vocal toolbox better and really how to overall present myself professionally a lot better. There's still a lot I have to learn and a lot to perfect, but... I mean, I'm just getting started. I got a long road ahead of me. And that class also gave me the idea for this video blog to try to help pr uh, present myself. And I figured doing this video blog will help in that in the long run. And also help me look back on it. Or maybe help other people come with ideas. Or if they're curious about full sale. I don't know. It, we read two books by, oh god, Nancy, I can't even remember her name right now, um, her first book was called Resonate, and then, uh, no, that was the second book, her first book was called Slide, uh, Slideology, and, uh, the main thing that I took from her was in book Resonate, uh, chapter 5 I believe it 
brought to my attention, uh, she said, that having ideas are your versions of how you want to change the world. And that really stuck with me and really grabbed my attention because I want to change the gaming industry. I want to change the world with the games I help people make when I graduate. I want to take my courses while I'm here at school. I want to try to create my own game or two before I graduate, not including my final project of creating my own game. And I, I want to change the world through the gaming industry. I want people to be able to look back and look at a game I played and feel everything I feel when I play a game. I feel excitement, uh, love, sadness, sometimes anger, depending on the situation. And I want to be able to be a part of uh, a team that brings someone the joy and happiness and fulfillment that I get when I play or complete a game. Being able to explore and adventure and just be a part of that world and those characters, everything that's involved would just be absolutely fantastic. And being help making that for other people would be beyond amazing. I got, I just started my new class this week, so we won't get into that right now. We'll get into that next week. And uh, my final project for creative presentation was to uh, present myself to a future employer or comp company or customer uh, when after I graduate. And I chose Bethesda Game Studios because. I absolutely love the Fallout and all the Elder Scrolls games and I just find their story development and environment amazing and phenomenal. It, I looked at, uh, it was Rockville, Maryland, uh, Bethesda Game Studios, um, and that's about eight hours away from where I live and it's it's a beautiful place I did a lot of research on their facility on the people who work there and everyone says it's a wonderful place to work for wonderful place to work at and it's just an overall great environment to be a part of and that would be one of my great dreams to be to work for and to be a part of a couple of my other dreams are like Hito Kojima and Square Enix, but that's all the way out in Tokyo, and uh, I don't know how I feel about going all the way out to there, whole different language and all that stuff. That's eh, a little too much for me. But I uh, turned in my final pro project for it, and I think I got a 90, 98 on it. And I did, it went a lot better uh, than I expected. Uh, one week we were working on the script and like the planning of it. Then the next week after that we worked on the uh, first draft of the presentation. And then the last week was at the final presentation of it. And <clears throat> I had a relearn. PowerPoint for it because I did it through PowerPoint because uh, before now all I had was my phone to help record me and now I got my iPad that uh, Full Sail sent me and that's what I'm using for these video blogs and yeah it was it was overwhelming at first because the last time I used PowerPoint was geez I don't know like 10th grade high school that was like 2008 I believe so nine years ago and 
my bad, uh, 10 years ago now, I guess, since it just turned 2018, uh, but, um, it, it was a lot to take in, and it took me a little bit to figure it all out, and I think I took, I uh, spent a total of, like, uh, I don't know, probably, like, uh, like, 20, 25 hours on my project altogether, maybe a little bit more than that, I was working on it, like, every day for three weeks or so, uh, even worked on it at work when I had a chance, uh, and, like, on breaks, or if we had downtime or something, any chance I had, I pretty much wrote down or worked on it or, uh, thought of ideas, um, but this, that class helped boost my confidence with my presentation and, um, public speaking. It's... There's a lot I'm going to use for future reference and help look back on my presentations and see how they do and make sure I try to do the best, be the best that I can be. It's going to be a long, fun, and joyful, interesting ride. And I hope you're all here with me to see how I grow. Thank you. See you next week.